Mississippi State. Uh, David Shaw, Dr. David Shaw is here nearby somewhere, and uh, he's the VP of Research at Mississippi State. We're working on transportation issues with Mississippi State and University of Southern Mississippi right now. We're about to embark on education issues, working with Jackson State and Ole Miss. Uh, we have done other studies that have delved into other aspects of Blueprint, working with private consultants and working with the university system over the years, and we'll continue to have that partnership. You might recall that Dr. Bounds actually chaired the Blueprint effort in 2011 and really did a magnificent job of pulling all of the resources together. Um, there's something for everyone in Blueprint. If a student is interested in economics, there's economic competitiveness. If a student is interested in racial diversity, one of the goals. If a student is interested in focusing, for instance, on how the nonprofit world that's a significant economic driver in this state, interacts and makes things happen. There's ways to focus on that. So it's not just an economic approach. It's really an approach for moving Mississippi forward. So we're delighted that this horsepower is being put behind this project. Uh, we continue to work on implementing the various goals that we have from a business point of view. But Blueprint is really everybody's Blueprint. And what we hope is we may find some innovative new approaches that come out of our best and brightest minds who are coming through our university system and really come up with some silver bullets that will help Mississippi move forward. So thank you, Dr. Bounds, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce one of my longtime leaders, uh, Robin Robinson. She's Director of Human Resources and Corporate Relations at Sanderson Farms. She's chaired our leadership program. She's chaired our foundation. She's in line to be chairman of the board of MEC in just two years. Great leader, member of the IHL board. Please join me now in welcoming Robin Robinson. Well, good afternoon. What a great day to be in Jackson and in the Capitol and to have the opportunity to kick off the Blueprint Challenge. What a great day. This challenge, as you've heard, will challenge our students in our Mississippi public universities to find solutions to our state's problems. The Blueprint Challenge will help our students develop important workplace skills, like problem solving, like teamwork, like creativity, all those things in the workplace that we need our employees to possess. The students will be invited to work on teams, put their heads together, and to come up with those creative solutions. Not only will our students gain a great benefit from this wonderful opportunity they're being afforded, they're going to get to learn and put into practice those workplace skills. Also, Mississippi is going to greatly benefit from those students' work and from their voice and what they've learned that can put Mississippi in the place of greatest opportunity and help us reach those blueprint goals. The blueprint goals have a tremendous impact on our state when you stop to think about it. Those goals, as Blake has mentioned, it impacts our economy, it impacts our economic development, and it impacts the quality of life all of us have within our state. So as we think about blueprint goals, it allows Mississippi to be more prosperous, to be more vibrant, and to be more resilient, and to move us where we can take advantage of those economic development opportunities that come our way. It is a great day in Mississippi. When you stop to think about our governor, the commissioner of higher education, the president of the Mississippi Economic Council, all have come together, and I don't know if you have realized this, but you all are modeling what you're asking the students to do in the Blueprint Challenge. When, when all of us, our universities, when we all come together to announce that our students, our future state leaders, the future state leaders of Mississippi, they're going to have an opportunity to research solutions, to look for solutions, and they're going to have an opportunity to have a voice in moving Mississippi forward and placing Mississippi in the position of greatest opportunity. So for your great leadership, I want to say thank you, Governor. Thank you, Dr. Bounds, and thank you, Blake, for all that you've done and for the opportunity that you're going to give our universities and our students. At this time, it is with 